Hey all, it's JK here with another video. It's Saturday night. Uh, I've had a good day Christmas shopping with the family and I uh, hope you've all had a good day as well. Um, so this is another tips and tricks video. Um, following on from last week's video or last the last video, I think it was last week. Anyway, following on from that video, uh, lots of helpful comments um, where I said uh, a couple of things. The first one being how to, um, when you put the reverse parking mirrors on, I thought it was a bit pointless because once you go back into drive again, you had to manually put the mirrors back to normal. You know, you put them into center position and the mirrors go up. I was wrong. <laughs> um, apparently what happens is you go in reverse, with it in L, mirror goes down, you reverse. Then when you go back in drive again and go forward, eventually the mirrors go back to normal position. And they do that at around nine, 10 miles per hour. So I tested that and it works. So, yep, cheers for that. Uh, the other thing was I had no idea how to activate and deactivate the rear windscreen wiper blade. Uh, in my video, it just seemed to come on with a mind of its own. It turns out what you do is with the, the wiper blade control, with, with the wiper control at, at, on the right of the steering column, you push down or towards the uh, dashboard uh, to activate the rear wiper and you pull it towards you again to stop it and if you pull it towards you again obviously that activates the front jet wash on the on the front screen so <laughs> thank you for that uh, i did scour the the um manual for that and i just couldn't find anything simple as that but uh anyway on with this uh video so five things i go over in this video the first one being convenience locking and unlocking nice feature uh, basically it's how you control the, the windows from your fob, key fob, so that's pretty cool. Then I go over boost gauge. A friend of mine showed me his R a few days ago and he showed me the boost gauge that he's got because he's got a 66 plate R. And um, I tried to contact my dealer today, the service department, to find out when I'm, you know I can get this done on my car because it should be a case of them updating my software. Uh, unfortunately they're closed so and they're closed tomorrow with tomorrow's sunday so hopefully monday i'll ring them up and say look i'm not happy this boost gauge looks like a useful feature i want it um to me it should be an easy software update probably under warranty they'll do it i expect it's the sort of thing that you get during a service because i think when they service your car they update the software as well so but i'm going to try and push for it well i'm going to push for it as simple as that you know it's not fair that we bought a car in March on a 16 plate yet we don't get the 2016-17 software that's bullshit in my opinion so I'm not having that uh, so I'm going to sort it out on Monday uh, if it goes wrong then I'll YouTube it and I'll say this video W dealer are useless <laughs> so it's in their interest uh, then I go over interior monitoring system um, I test it as well it's an interesting part of the video, probably the most entertaining as well. Uh, what I've got to tell you is it's no good for toddlers. Uh, what this system is, is it basically, if so, you can leave someone in the in the car or you can leave a dog in the car and they won't set the alarm off with movement. And I found that um, you can, yes, that does work, but people within the car are still open, able to open the door, which is great for adults. But for kids, you know, little toddlers or whatever, they're going to open that door and they're going to go wandering. So not good for kids. I would not use it if you've got kids. Uh, then I go over the armrest and storage compartment. So I figured out how to use the armrest. Purely because it's the same armor, a similar armrest to my Land Cruiser. Although it's better on my Land Cruiser in my opinion. Um, and then I go over my steering wheel position uh, adjuster. Uh, again, I didn't know that you could pull the steering column towards you. <laughs> Uh, which is a key, well, a decent feature of previous R's. It was one of the things I loved about older R's that my Type R didn't do. I really wish you could pull the steering wheel towards you and hold that position. But yeah, my dealer said that this didn't do that, and I found out that it does do that. And it's not clear in the manual that it does it either. So uh, yeah, I go over that as well. So uh, yeah, sit back, relax, take notes, and enjoy. Cheers. So another thing I found is convenience locking and unlocking. Uh, I'll show you how to get to that in the menu in a second. It's quite straightforward. But what you do is when you unlock the car, if you hold down the unlock or lock buttons while locking or unlocking, the windows go up or down. 
the longer you hold the, the unlock button down, for example, the further down the windows will go. So for example, the car's locked now. If I unlock, it's now unlocked. As you can see, the windows are, are tipping out. Then if I hold down the lock button, the windows are going down. All of them are going down. If I, I let go, then they stop going down. So that's a good feature. Uh, it's not a feature I'd use really, because you know I, I'm, I don't know, but I'm sure people would use it for reasons. And now I've kept my finger down, windows go back up again. And then I hold it down again, they start going up again. So yeah, to activate that feature, all you do is you go into you go into the car menu. It's a good setup. opening and closing and there it is convenience uh, opening uh, I'd never use it so I have mine off but you can set it to all windows or driver window which is cool uh, so that's a good feature another feature that people have been asking me about is how to get the boost gauge up on the screen unfortunately my R doesn't have it as you can see there but all you do is you go into the car menu you hit selection and then there should be a sport option there, I think, or a race option or something like that. It'll be there in that list anyway. And then you click on that. It then gives you your three, just like that, basically. Uh, it gives you three icons where, and one's boost gauge and other's power output, things like that. And if you swipe up and down, it changes the gauges. Although that might be Discover Pro. I'm not sure if that's the normal Discover Nav. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. Um, I'll be ringing the dealer after this video and to see if I can get my software updated so I get that feature because I'd have thought I should be able to. I literally took this car a few weeks before that came out. So yeah, that's another another nice feature. Another feature of this car is uh, concerning the interior monitoring system and how to disable it. So basically if you leave something or someone in the car, pets or whatever, um, and you want to lock the car and go to the shop or whatever and leave them in the car, you can make it so that the alarm doesn't go off and the way you do that is there's the button there next to the driver's side uh, door now if you push it nothing happens but you have to open the door then push it and it comes on so then what happens is uh, when you lock the door lock the car the alarm shouldn't go off so I'm just testing that now just lock the car up see what happens so far so good not sure how long the alarm normally takes to go the door opened anyway which is interesting I wonder if that's because of that feature so let me just uh, unlock the door Open the door. The light's off now. I wonder if the light should stay on. I'm not sure about that. But then uh, with it off now, okay, so the alarm should go off. Yeah, now I can't open the door. So that's interesting. So it, it does that as well. So what's going to happen now eventually is the alarm should go off. Now, what if I lock again? I think that does it as well. Nope. The alarm's not going off so far. Pretty sure the alarm should go off now. Moving around freely, pushing things. There we go, now the alarm's gone off. So if I disarm, open the door, push it again. That's on now. Then I close the door, lock the door. So we know the door's gonna open now. So what happens now if I play with things? Oh yeah, that screen's still on. So it's, it looks like it's people can still listen to their music and whatnot. So we'll go to menu. Radio, media, that one. Or whatever, you know. Basically when you 
set the alarm normally, it, it doesn't do that. And it lets you open the door as well. Oh, the alarm's gone off now. <laughs> well, that's strange. That's very odd. Don't know how that's supposed to work then, because uh, as you just saw there, we, we pushed the button and then it should stop the alarm, but... Oh, the, the Nav Pro is still running. I thought that always switched off when... Uh, that seems pointless to me. Why would it let you lock the door, but and then if someone's inside, the alarm will go off, yet it still lets you play with the um, the uh, navigation system and music and whatnot. Because as we know, now the car is locked, I didn't hit that. So the alarm's gonna go off now, eventually. Yeah, there you go. Um, well, a bit confused by what's going on here. Maybe you guys can give me your opinions, but uh, according to the manual, you open the door, you hit that button there. Once the light is on, you should then close the door, lock it, as far as I'm aware. But now the light's gone off. So I'm doing something wrong. I think you lot should let me know in the comments because this ain't very straightforward. And then to me, what should happen is your kids or your dog should be happily chewing away on your seats and your kids should be throwing up on the back seats happily while you're out getting a bottle of wine or whatever it is you're doing. And the alarm shouldn't go off. But to me, that shouldn't even be running. As we just saw, even without with interior monitor uh, not disabled, it still lets you use the nav navigation and whatnot. So that's pointless, in my opinion. Um, hmm. Well, the alarm's not going off now, but so the only difference I can see is with that feature is the alarm doesn't go off. Uh, it lets you open the door from the interior, but then as soon as you do that, the alarm goes off. Yeah, so, then get it. But that's how that feature works anyway, so. Another couple of little things that we found uh, that I didn't really pay attention to, but I, mean, I know it does seem like I'm a bit dumb, but at the end of the day, I don't drive the car very often. That's the car I mainly drive, my Land Cruiser. And that's full of features. That's got a video coming, similar sorts of videos coming as well. But uh, this armrest here, First of all, it pulls out. A lot of people don't know that. The only reason I found that is because my Land Cruiser does, but my Land Cruiser's got an actual lever for it. So it's obvious. It's got two levers. It's got one at the back. You push that to pull up, and then it's got one in the front. Where it then, when you, it does that, pulls it out like that. So uh, yeah, that's interesting. And then the other thing this does is it, it raises at different levels. So that that's now there on armrest. And that's now that's now a level as well. So it's got two levels, that one and that one. Well maybe it's only got that one actually. Don't know. But that seems an interesting feature as well. Uh, the other thing I've discovered as well is uh, a drawer under here. <laughs> that's quite handy. So uh, yeah, I'm sure if you were doing a lot of miles in this car and in it day in, day out, you would find all this useful. There's one on the passenger side as well. So yeah, that's cool. A couple of drawers there. You can never say no to a bit of storage space. A bit of storage there as well. Little glove box for the driver. Um, yeah, pretty sweet actually. And then obviously there's your steering, steering column. Uh, it goes up or down, left and right, I think. So if we go down. Yeah, that's interesting. I think uh, in one of the older R's, it actually, oh, there you go, yeah, it comes towards you as well. Really like that feature. That's pretty cool. Really like that. So it goes forwards, backwards, up and down, and that's the steering column. So me, because I've got long legs, I obviously need it toward me, so that's cool. And that's how I'll keep it. And then, I think like that. Coolio, so that's nice. 